Japan's foreign ministry has summoned South Korea's ambassador to Tokyo for the third time in nine months to lodge a complaint over the country's continuing dispute over the wartime forced labor issue. Now, the summons came on Friday morning, less than 24 hours after Tokyo's self-imposed deadline passed for Seoul to respond to its request to form a third-party arbitration panel on the issue. Japanese Foreign Minister Taro Gono told Seoul's envoy Nan Gwampyo that Tokyo regretted South Korea's decision. The South Korean government had been saying that it would reject the demand, insisting the issue should be resolved through two-way talks rather than a dispute settlement process that includes a third country. Now, Tokyo's deadline has come and gone, and there's speculation that Japan might take the case to the International Court of Justice. But Japanese media outlets say the decision on that won't be made right away. The issue has strained ties since the series of rulings by South Korean courts ordered Japanese firms to compensate former forced laborers.